everybody welcome to kids church today okay today we're gonna do things just a little bit differently I would love for your whole family to watch this video together kids and parents there's gonna be a couple of times in the video where I want you to pause and discuss the questions together as a family today we are talking about promises so before I get to our story today I want you to pause the video and there's going to be a couple of questions for you guys to talk about as a family about promises. Okay, today's lesson has got me thinking about outer space. I'm wondering if you guys saw a couple of weeks ago when they did the SpaceX shuttle launch. We were glued to the TV for an hour on the day that the shuttle was supposed to launch. And then they had bad weather and they had to wait and do it a couple days later. And yet again, we were glued to the TV to watch this shuttle launch. And then a couple days later, we watched when they docked at the International Space Station and watched them go on board. Um, I just think there is something really fascinating about being in outer space, seeing all the stars, seeing the whole Earth from way, way, way far away. Um, I got to be honest, though, I don't think that I would like to go up in a spaceship. My kids said they would love it. And I don't know, maybe someday one of them will be an astronaut and they'll go up in outer space makes me feel very, very nervous. But I do love to look at the stars. Now at my house, once in a while, I'll go out at night, I'll stand outside and I'll look up at the stars, especially if there's gonna be something really cool like a meteor shower or um, you know, some, some certain time of year when you can see a certain constellation. I just love looking up at the stars. But the thing is, in the city, we can't really see a ton of stars because the city lights are too bright. Now, if you guys have ever gone camping or you've ever gone out into the country where you're far away from the city lights, then you guys know that when you look outside out there, you can see millions of stars. It's amazing. So I want you to think about that picture in your head as we're reading today's story looking outside, looking up at the stars, and seeing more stars than you can possibly count, okay? So today's story is about Abraham. He actually started out as Abram, and then God changes his name, and God makes promise to Abraham, all right? So we're in our Spark Story Bible. We're reading about God's promises to Abraham. God came to Abram and made a promise. Abram, you are very special to me. I will take care of you and give you lots of children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren. But Abram asked God many times, Are you sure? I don't have any children yet. God thought Abram needed something more to help him understand. So God took Abram outside and showed him the night sky. Your family will include as many people as as there are stars in the sky, God told Abram. Abram stared up at all those stars. He couldn't begin to count all those twinkling lights. Stars and stars and stars all around him. Abram looked up at the stars and saw God at work. Abram believed God. Now for another promise, said God to Abram. You will need a place for your huge family to live. I will give you this land as I promised. Are you sure, God? Abram asked again. God made a covenant with Abram, a promise that Abram would become a father and a grandfather and a great-grandfather and a great-great-grandfather and a great-great-great-grandfather and on and on. 
and all Abram's many, many sons, daughters, grandsons, and granddaughters would live with God in the land on which Abram stood. Okay, in case you haven't heard this story before, I'm going to spoil it for you and I'm going to tell you the end, okay? So Abram and his wife, Sarah, were really, really old when God made them this promise. Abram was 75 years old. So I imagine it was probably pretty hard for him to believe God when God said, you're going to have a really big family. And it actually says that Sarah laughed at God when he said, you're going to be a mom because they were older and they couldn't imagine that God would give them a family, but they believed God and God kept his promise. And a long time later, Abraham and Sarah became parents and they had a son and they ended up having a huge family. And if you trace their family tree, their family tree goes all the way to Jesus. So God kept his promise. And even in ways that maybe Abraham didn't get to see while he was still alive, but God used Abraham and Abraham believed him that he would keep his promise, that he would use his family to bless people to come for a long, long time. This story shows us that God is a promise keeper. He kept his promise to Abraham and Sarah, and he keeps his promises to us too. So I have a craft for you guys to do as a family to help you remember and help you talk about God's promises. Um, I have an example here that I did with my kiddos. So get a piece of paper and put stars all over it. You could draw your stars with a marker. What we did is we took a, a star-shaped cookie cutter and dipped it in paint and then put it all over our paper. And then as a family, I want you to go through, through and talk about what are some promises that God makes to us and write them inside of your star. So some of the ones that we came up with, um, God promises to help us, to protect us. We've got lots of things on here. And then of course, the thing that we're learning about today, God promises to keep his promises. He's a promise keeper. So take a little bit of time as a family to work on that project, to talk through some of God's promises. If you need some ideas to get started, I'll link some resources below that you can check out. church today, Anna is going to close us in prayer this morning. Dear God, you promised that you would be, that you would love us. You will always be with us. You will always take care of us. You will always teach us. You will always lead us. You will one day take us to heaven to live with you forever. Amen. Amen. We hope you guys have a great Sunday and we will talk to you soon. Bye, friends. Bye.